Alrighty. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Uncle Barn, and what I'm doing today is giving uh, an instructional video on for you to make your own open engine. And I've got uh, Jim here with me to help me with the video. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to tell you the little secret that I did putting this engine together. So uh, why don't you pass the camera off on to me, and I'll go around the engine. Oh, down here, I've got a horn. The horn is opened up, and it shows how the horn works on this side of the engine. You can see I've got a crank guard for number four. The crank guard is just for uh, a splash guard. It does throw a lot of oil uh, from the drip boiler. Uh, Drip oiler lubricates that number four piston, and the hole is bored just on the back side of the rings. So the rings stop right about at this point right here. Then the other pistons are lubricated with grease zerts, and right here you can see one of the grease zerts. And there's no rings on the other three pistons that are down here. And so pump a little grease into the ring grooves and they're all happy. Uh, let's go through the carburetor. Did put a little dam to hold the fuel in. Uh, the paper cloth is just for uh, like a little catch for when it does drip a little bit of fuel. And I've got uh, this is a, a John Deere uh, fuel filter and that's what I use for my little micro gas tank and a prime cup uh, just, just to put a little charge into it. This would be the intake and that is fed down into the intake port and this is the exhaust port for the muffler. Uh, there would be like a, inside of it there's a, a baffle. Over on the valves, Jim you want to grab me the valves? that valve uh, to explain what I did. The valve on the intake valve, the intake port, there's two intake ports. One is here on this side. I'll use this side and you can see that this goes to both of your intake valves. And what I did is take the valve with a rubber bushing and a washer put that inside of this valve here so that it still provides vacuum to this cylinder this valve would open up I would lose all my vacuum and by placing this in there I was uh, able to keep some of the vacuum and not having fuel running out of this valve uh, let me go over here to the back of the engine. I've got a, a meat thermometer into the back to record my, to keep an eye on my temperature for how hot I am. Uh, I've got a nice day today in February. It's on my little temperature gauge on there. It looks like about like 45 degrees. I do have an uh, electric start and just put a, uh, a screw on there for a little push button. And now, uh, here's just a old antique house switch for turning the engine on and off with a resistor going to the coil. And what I can tell you on this side, uh, lubrication. I've got grease fittings on all of the bearings, uh, the cam, and up here into the inside for the tappets there are holes drilled and I use bar chain oil to keep them lubricated. Now I got this distributor I'm going to talk to you about. The distributor is mounted into this bracket and that had that machine
for this piece here. And then there's a pipe welded onto it, and then inside there's a shorter piece of extension to go up to the distributor. And how I'm holding that there is with the set screw, and then this plug is threaded with another round piece with a uh, round piece of stock and there's two more set screws there is uh, one more and very important piece for holding this cam in it's kind of hard to see right here but the cam is right this there's a fold there's a it's under this uh, splash pan is that I have a washer drilled through a washer setting here with a bolt and that holds the camshaft in because otherwise there is nothing holding it there because on your Ford, on your Model A engine the pressure place to hold it in is right here then I'll talk to you a little bit about the piston here's a piston another piece of piston with the rings on and you don't want to have the oil scraper ring on you want to keep the oil on the on the cylinder walls and on the piston and what I did with the piston that's in the engine is put a uh, JB weld on all of the holes and filled all of this in just clean it up uh, with a little bit of uh, paint thinner sandpaper it a little bit with the JB weld on it and uh, put your two compression rings on you're good to go with that uh, your connecting rod drill a little hole on the top and I just take the oil can and I just drip a little bit of oil on top of it so that lubricates that pin uh, let's go over to the here's for cutting this piece out this piece sat in here like this I believe I believe I used a, a 9 16 hole saw an inch, one inch and nine sixteenths, thank you Jim uh, hole saw to cut this out uh, a, a jigsaw and a saw saw this stuff cuts out really easy cast iron uh, don't be intimidated by it I'll show you how easy this was by a couple of the pictures and this is the block that I started out with over here is a picture of me using a hand drill that's this guy right here drilling making my first cut here's the piece removed here's the first piece getting measured up to make the distributor turn and the whole purpose of I wanted that distributor out of the way so and a lot of people ask me what made you come up with this idea I had this picture right here that my father took back in 75 76 that's me and my brother taking an old Thunderbird engine apart and this is why I made this engine and to excite a lot of young people on how to on how a combustion engine works so if you have any any questions uh, anything that I may have missed about this engine please feel free to contact me and I'm going to give the camera back to Jim. Watch off your fingers, Jim. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like to say is that I welcome anybody to do this project. It's been a very rewarding project for me that I, I hopefully I, I steered a lot of people into the gas engine hobby. Uh, I collect gas engines. I've got uh, other future projects that I want to do and I'd like to find a, a straight 8 Buick engine somewhere out here in the Midwest uh, and maybe somehow I'll get, uh, get uh, Jay Leno's attention and I'd love to see his garage so uh, hey have a good day uh, thank you very much I'll see you in the future bye